When it comes to skirts, it is so important to choose the skirt that's best for your body type. It can help you feel super confident and you will look incredible. Joining me now is wardrobe stylist Walla and he's here to help us all pick out the skirt that is right for us. But first I feel like we have to stand like this. Yeah, we've got to so do our... Why do models do that? You know, it keeps better posture, shoulders this? back, back this is straight. Like a back bend. The, yeah, they're doing a little bit more of a lean with it. Maybe they're just really feeling themselves today. They can't talk to us because they don't have heads. Strong, so silent. We'll never know. Strong what, silent types. What's the most versatile skirt do you feel like heading into the summer months that works for every shape? Is there one? The most versatile, I, I think that you really have to find one that works best for your body type. So if you're a pear shape, apple shape, curvier girl, shorter girl, petite girl, tall girl, there is a skirt that helps to exemplify and kind of make you look tall taller, leaner, longer. Yeah. Um, if there was one skirt that was most versatile for most all body types, definitely the pencil skirt. The pencil skirt? The pencil skirt. That's the one that's least comfortable to walk in. Um, get one that fits properly. If it's too tight, probably very difficult to walk in. Um, yeah. If it's too big, then it doesn't fit right and it's really not helping create those long, elongated lines. What is model number one wearing then? Is that a pencil skirt? So she's actually wearing a high-waisted pencil skirt altered. So it's high-waisted, so if you are an apple-shaped girl, um, you want to create the illusion of having a smaller, narrow waist, do something that's high-waisted so that you can really accentuate on that waist. What about model number Two. Model number two here, we've got more of an A-line skirt. So if you're more pear-shaped, if you've got hips, buns, thighs, more of a curvy girl, something like that, do something that kind of pulls away from the body to, again, create those long, lean lines, make you appear taller and leaner. Both of these models, have you've tucked in their blouses. Absolutely. Are we no longer doing anything untucked? So if you do something untucked, what you're doing is creating different lines. So you essentially could truncate your body, causing yeah. you to look shorter. If you're gonna do a skirt, sometimes it, it helps to tuck it in or give yourself some sort of better line to give you that longer, leaner lines that we're looking for. What about model number three? Model number this three over really here. It's a really pretty look. It's yeah. a monochromatic type. Monochromatic type. is kind of that dusty rose mm -hmm. um, color that we're seeing really big for spring and summer. And what we did, like you said, monochromatic look. This is a great pencil skirt. It's a little bit longer than a pencil skirt should be, which is something that we're again seeing for spring and summer trends. And you did, is this called the dirty tuck? It's <laughs> That's what I've heard it called, it's, the dirty tuck. It's when a, you like it's a half make tuck. it look like you meant to leave. It's you, you effortlessly just yeah, it just kind of did itself. Like it just kind of did itself in there. It just kind of half tucked a it in. Look, you tuck in just one part. It absolutely is, and what it does is it creates emphasis on your waist. Again, yeah. making sure that you have that streamlined look from the pencil skirt to give you those long, lean legs. Do you have any strong feelings on when it's appropriate to wear a skirt versus a dress? So skirt versus a dress depends on the occasion. Is it a dress occasion? Is it a formal occasion, semi-formal occasion? Most of the time they're interchangeable. So you, could you wear a skirt to a formal occasion and get away with it? Depending on the skirt, absolutely. We used to see it all the time where we'd see these big ball gown skirts with a great white button down shirt or just a tank top or something oh, like yeah. that. So it, it depends on the skirt and it certainly depends on the occasion. What's your favorite casual skirt to wear in place of jeans or shorts? I love a great mini skirt. Um, petite girls can really pull this off because it really helps accentuate their legs, make them look longer. Um, you can wear skirts casually. You can rock it with a t-shirt, great tennis shoes, something like that, and take any one of your skirts and just make it feel more casual. They don't always have to be a dressy skirt. Mini skirts are great if you're, fe if you're vertically challenged. Absolutely. I have a girlfriend though who is, she's not even five feet and she wears long skirts and she seems to pull it off. Mm -hmm. So what's the key to doing that? Because I can't figure out how she does it, but it looks awesome every time. Yeah, when we're talking about maxi skirts, typically they look better on taller, longer people that can pull it off. If you are a shorter person, you want to pull off a longer skirt, look for the pattern and look for the fit. If it fits you mm -hmm. properly and it's not a crazy pattern that's you know distracting attention from it, that's when it really works well. Wardrobe stylist Walla, thank you. And now you know all about skirts, skirts for the summer and how to stand like this.